is going on guys? Welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy Heroes video. I'm Zuko. And I'm Exum. And this is The High, High Ground. Ground. Alright guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit of a, a mix up. We have a couple different topics we want to cover for you guys. Um, get your feedback, gauge what you guys are thinking about what's going on. Obviously there was a huge update yesterday about you know Darth Revan coming into the game. Everybody's been speculating about it. We all knew this was coming. But so, now it's confirmed. Now it's confirmed, and so now we want to talk to you guys about it. The first topic we really wanted to talk to, about, talk to you about was, it was really me that wanted to talk to you guys about. I really wanted to bring this to the community, to you guys, and talk about how I'm $70, what I estimate $70 away from Darth Revan. And I really wanted to get you guys' opinion on what you think I should do. Um, because he's given me his opinion, and, and I'm torn. You know, my bank account says not to do it, but... My heart says to do it, and so like I'm stuck, man. Like there's two characters um, that I've always said to myself that if they came to this game, I'd be willing to spend money on them. One of them is Dark Side Anakin, and the other one is Darth Revan. And it sucks, it, you know. This decision is made so much harder because of the circumstances of everything, <laughs> um, especially how they brought out these packs, and that's something we could discuss after. But so it's it's harder for me to bring myself to saying I want to spend the seventy dollars, but. I love Sith. That's my thing. You guys know that Zuko's thing is Galactic Republic. And for, for me, Sith, that I've never been in the Sith meta. I haven't done the Darth Maul one when it was around a long time ago. I never did the Vader one. When, and that was before the Darth Maul one. Uh, I barely did the Nihilus one when Nihilus came around. I was in the 200s and the 100s. That's not even considered the meta. <laughs> Palpatine, I didn't, I didn't do that because I was RJT at that time. And the Treya one. I'm about to 7-star my Treya. I'm one shard away. So I, didn't get, I haven't gotten any of those Sith metas. And really, like, I I'm stuck, and I really, I want you guys' opinion because I, I don't know what to do. Obviously, now, based on the way that he's talking, you can see he really wants to buy this character. And here's my thing. Um, I, I, I've always said, do what makes you happy. He referenced something to me earlier that I think is a really good point. If uh, the High Ground Kenobi came out, uh, would I spend money to get him? And I probably would. How much I would spend, I don't, I don't really know. But that's one type of character, kind of like um, Arnold with the whole Separatist rework. And we were, Django Fett, when he spent... And Django, well, Django Fett was because he wanted to do the marquee, huh? like he wanted to show people how, how it feels to buy it. Cubs, <laughs> Cubs was free to play, and when Revan came around, he did he dropped all the money. Yeah, but Revan. yeah, he's far from free to play now. No, <laughs> yeah, but at the time he was. I agree, so it, it depends, you know, on the character. So I get what he's, where he's coming from with this. Um, I think what's holding me back is I just don't... You guys saw in the last video, I'm not really big on the whole uh, Old Republic anymore. I'm kind of tired of it. But one of the big things that I think you have to assess when you're going to, to make this decision, and you guys can probably uh, uh, talk about this too, is what are you getting him for? You keep talking about the fact that you want to be in the meta, correct? Of course. So here's the thing. We talked about in the last video, as a business, as a company, let's talk about the fact that Jedi Knight Revan has kind of been running this thing for six months now. Six months. Am I right? Yeah. Old Republic has been the whole year. Year okay, since last February with Treya. Because even though Treya and all these people don't have the tag, they're still considered they're old republic. republic. Yeah, yeah, it's from the Knights of the Old Republic. So it's been a year with this. Now they're in, they're introducing Darth Revan. How long do you think that they that this company can continue to draw out the Old Republic dominance? That's where you start to cut. That's where I start to come into question here. If your decision is based solely on love for the character. Then you do it for solely on love of the character. Love if you're character. based on meta and you're willing to spend seventy dollars for it, it to me it's not a good investment because look, a lot of top people have talked about in other videos that they think that oh this is kind of going to be like Dark, like Jedi Knight Revan where if you didn't have him you were screwed. I don't necessarily agree with that because I, again I don't think that they can drag this out much longer. We have a friend who's been playing this game since launch, okay, and he's talking about the fact that every single day in this game gets worse and worse and worse where you're just not motivated to do much anymore. And if they want to continue this, if they want to make this a stretch into summer because they're going to wait for the next Clone Wars series to come out or they're going to, uh, the, the next season or they're going to wait for the next, movie. the next movie to end this Old Republic dominance, I honestly think they changed the name to uh, Star Wars Galaxy, Galaxy of the Republic. Old Republic. I think that because at the end of the day, the only people that are going to be left here are the diehard Old Republic fans. Because you have people like us who are Old Republic fans. We are. I know we don't sound it, but we do like the lore. But... When you overdraw something for so long, it, it gets it gets so stale and it gets so boring that I just don't want to participate in it anymore. I'm, I'm a lot more upset about like, <laughs> part of the principle. It's like it's part of the reason I haven't spent the seventy dollars already is the principle of I hate what they did with the packs. Yes, I hate the way that they divided these two, the four characters into two and twos. That they put the two girls Juhani and Basila, and they put the two guys Canderson Karth, and they didn't divide it like that. 
because of their gender. Because of their gender. <laughs> they just divided it like that to screw us over. Because we all know that Candris and Darkseid Bastila were the first ones to go free to play. And that the majority of us have them done or almost done. And then Karth and Juhani are the ones that came out last month. And those are the ones that everybody's panic farming to get done. And so what they did was they divided those. And not only did they divide those, if they would have divided them into $25 packs each, fine. Or $20 packs each. $10 but, a piece. Even $25. Whatever, fine. No, they're $40 packs. This is ridiculous. If you look at faction bundles in the past, they've always been like $50 or $60, and you get 55 or 50 shards of all the members of that faction. Let's That's what, it. best based on their precedents, like precedents that they've set before, that is what we should have been expecting. And it's what I was expecting. And when I saw this, it was a total slap in the face. Yeah, because at the end of the day, this is the thing, guys. Juhani and, and Karth have been uh, free to play accessible now for a month, okay? They decided to get these two characters. One of them is the ship farm, which is 100 energy to refresh. That's the hardest farm He's in the game. He's 20 energy. It's the hardest farm in the game. It's harder than dark side. I mean, the dark, than, than hard notes. And then they put Juhani in a hard note. Which generally those two farms take six to eight months to get to seven stars if you're refreshing daily, correct? So they give us a month. They decided they're gonna split these two. And if you think that this is just a coincidence, I'm sorry, but you're out of your mind. They did this on purpose. And if this hasn't crossed your mind, well then here's the, the, the revelation. They decided these are the two cash grabs. Why put them both together even though they came out together? And even though more people get would be willing money, to buy it that way. They decided that they're going to put them in separate packs to make you spend $80 to get the 50 stars of each of these characters. And in my opinion, that's just, it's absurd. When I saw it, I had a heart attack. I texted XM, I'm like, have you seen this? Because I, was, I can't believe that they did this. I was with my girlfriend and I, I needed to go cool off. I, I sent her away because that was that was absurd. That <laughs> That it's caught a slap me off in the guard, face, and man. yes, it was a slap in the face. It's just not needed. It, and, and not just that, not just that. Fine, they screw us in the in the in the the dollar bill pack. Let's talk about. But the then gear. you look at the faction pack. No, before we get into the game, <laughs> you look at the faction pack. Okay, fine. We we're not gonna buy the bundles, but we're gonna spend the six hundred ninety nine dollars to get ten to three hundred thirty crystals of these characters. But no, they throw an HK in there. A character that they by well know that we all have farmed for months and or years because he's been around since the he's beginning easy. of the game. And they throw him in there so that when we buy one of those 699 packs, we'll get an HK 47 drop and get a nice finger to the <laughs> face. <that I'm> not <laughs> kind gonna, of like mobile gaming with yeah, Bastila. I'm not going to do that right now on camera, but that's essentially what they did to <laughs> us because it's ridiculous that he's there. He should not be there. He should be completely separate the same way that he wasn't involved in the in the bundles. Think he about it this way. Thing. Think about it this way. Everybody who's been playing this game for a long time, at this point in time, you farmed everybody in Squad Arena. So you just have an excess of, of, of Squad Arena tokens unless you spend all of it every single day on Shard Shop, which is, you know, kind of unlikely. So if you have an excess... In the two week span until the end of the event, you could get HK forty seven yeah. to, to seven stars, mm -hmm. and they know this. They know exactly that. That so why not put him in that pack to try to screw you up because you know he's gonna drop. Yeah, a no, no. Of I, I bet you he'll probably have the highest skewed. probability. It's, yeah, there's a, there's a point zero zero six more chance. And let's talk really quick about this because I think this is important to note. Car uh, Candras Ordo in Cantina, I had the most incredible drop rate with him for the longest time. Then Karth and Juhani come into play. And my drop rate bombs, it plummets. <laughs> and look, I wanted to record, I wanted to screen record my drop rates with him before, but I hadn't recorded it before, so you guys wouldn't notice. But I'm sorry, that's just something I had to throw in there because I thought it was hilarious and I think it was intentional. So anyway, so let's let's get back to that. So when you're talking about the fact that now we're also you look at the post that the, the developers put up. This event will be what was very it? difficult. Oh, very, nice very nice difficult to beat. They did, they, and, and, and like Mo made a video, I believe it was like Mo, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. Uh -huh. Like Mo made a video describing that, where have we seen this, it was either McMore or Cubs, but I think it was, it was Cubs, it was Cubs fan. Was it Cubs? It was Cubs fan. We said, where have we seen this, mm -hmm. this wording before? And he showed us that it was in the Chewbacca and the C3PO And it C3 wasn't in Jedi Knight Revan. Yeah. So that's and the those biggest are the two key. hardest events ever created. They're hell on earth. <laughs> if you don't have Chewbacca or C3PO, I pray for you, for your sanity. Unless you have Wicked and Logger, it makes it a lot easier. But anyway, for your sanity. So you know you're gonna have to gear them to like 11 or 12 and give them all your best mods to See, beat this event. So that's what I'm talking about. Jedi Knight Revan comes out and that was the biggest cash grab ever. It was the biggest paywall. This is not close to that in the sense of the character farm. So here's the thing. Jedi Knight Revan comes out, the characters you need had just become free to play farmable three weeks beforehand. We all remember this. You spent hundreds of dollars to get them up. There was at least 300 and something bucks, I remember, to get them all the way up there. But here's the thing the event is super easy. They give you a fully maxed out Jedi Knight Revan to beat the event. 
Nowhere in that post did it say anything about the event being difficult. So now what have they done? Damn, you know. They got a couple Dark side of weeks Bastila, extra of farming, Candace so we're to make this event really difficult. And They've you're been need out to for them. a while. Maybe they'll have a better chance of having more of these characters, HK47. So why not Panic Farm, Karth, and Juhani, so we'll get that money because we split them into different packs. And then also make this a gear. That's the biggest bottleneck in the game is gear. We all know this. So why not make an extremely difficult task where now you also have to gear the crap you gotta pay for out of these characters to get those gears. just like what just like what they did with um the chewy event where everybody had already spent everything in the c3po or was it the other way around i don't remember the other way around. so the same thing now everybody knows that a lot of people put a lot of stuff into the separatists now they're gonna make it another gear grab we're here now we got this event it's extremely difficult we couldn't make the money off of all the characters that we wanted to we're gonna probably only make it out of two so now you're gonna have to spend money on gear it's just in the whole in the essence of the whole thing it's to me it's a little bit ridiculous the way that all of old republic and let's talk about this guys who are old republic fans people who people who love old republic you know guys and girls how do you how do you feel about this how do you feel about the fact that every awesome character that has come out for old republic has been this type of this type of cash grab they have sucked the life out of the old republic fans and it's kind of, to me it's a little bit ridiculous i don't know i think i think a lot of it has been done in poor faith but really, like that, it, it just comes down. And they to, don't need money. They have a lot of it. Trust. It just comes. <laughs> it comes down to you know whatever we have to. We have to deal with it. That's what this game is, right? We we all play this game and we all love this game and this is how the game is. We all know what Galaxy of Heroes really stands for. You know, Galaxy of, of Cash Grabs. But you know, <laughs> in the end, we're stuck in these situations that I'm stuck in right now. We have to make these choices of whether we want to spend this money. The thing is, how long do we have to put up with this? At the end of the day, and we keep making these videos, so apparently we're gonna keep putting up with it for now. But hey, we're gonna keep. It happened to Battlefront too. They got a huge bunch of backlash, so maybe you never know. All I'm saying is that they don't get off scot free. People complain, but that doesn't do anything for their stock or anything like that. So <laughs> yes, it does. No, it doesn't. You're out of your mind. Look at their look at their fiscal quarters the past two years. Anyway, what I'm saying is that I don't think Exum pays for this just based on principle and based on the fact that I, for his main purpose, I really do see it as he wants to be part of the meta again, back in the top 50 consecutively. I don't see it lasting as long as you think it will. I don't think it will either. I agree with so you on that. So I think it, you're going to get Karth Revan. You're going to get him. You're going to get him. It's not like it's a one-time thing. You'll never come back. We got Jedi Knight Revan. We will get Darth Revan. It will happen. I say... You take a knee. I know. I know. You what take you a say. knee. You, you run it out to halftime. You run it out to the half. Second half, you come back strong and you get them. And then you got your guy. You got your boy. No, he's but, your boy. But then you don't you put do the gear else. into them because the meta's why over. Why don't you farm? Why don't you farm some type of uh, like 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 Darth Maul? You know, it's gonna come out he's Cyborg done. Maul eventually. He's nah, he's farmed. The Clone Wars. I have him farmed. But yes, we need Cy Oh, that's the third character, by the way, that I would spend money <laughs> on this game if he was good enough. That's all I'm saying, guys. Let us know if you agree with this kind of uh video that we made today. Let us know if you agree that he shouldn't spend the money or if he should spend the money. Let he me know shouldn't. what you think. I want to know. I want to know you guys' opinion. I want to get as <laughs> He's many broke. as possible. He I can't am, afford this. I am broke. I so am broke. let him know, guys, in the comment section down below. Hey, really quick, we do want to mention that uh, we love making these videos for you guys. We are back. We're going to keep pumping them out. As you've seen, we come out with a couple this week already. Uh, we're excited to be back. We're really happy that a lot of you guys are, are watching again. You know, remain faithful subscribers. You guys are commenting, saying you love having us back. We appreciate hearing from you guys. Some of you guys are really, really funny. And we appreciate you guys' comments. So please keep watching, guys. Hey, spread us around. Try to get us to 1,000 subscribers. That'd be great. That's what we're yes, trying to get to. The, the, the milestone. We yes. are back. We promise we're not going on another six-month hiatus. So... Stick with us, guys. All right, guys. That's it for this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Over, Anakin. I have the high ground. You underestimate my power. Don't try it. High ground. You were supposed to destroy the Sith, not join them. High ground. I loved you. High ground. <laughs> high ground. It's not the high ground way. I mean, the Jedi way. You know what I'm saying. I'm saying I've beaten you, and I'm on the high ground, so. High ground. <laughs>